Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as a recording of the Saturday, March 2nd, 2024. Today I'm going to be heading closer to downtown Kissimmee to the Osceola Heritage Park, a place where I attended the rodeo a couple weeks ago and I've gone to some car events and things like that. The fair, the Osceola County Fair is there in past years I have popped into. Today I am wearing an appropriate Dave McFly Mickey shirt, a mouse. House of Mouse is taking place today. It's a two-day two -day convention today and tomorrow. Today's the only day I'm going to pop in. It is a Disney-themed, not put on by Disney, but a Disney-themed convention. As far as I can recall, I've never been to it. I'm inviting you to join me. It's good to have you here. A little snap, shall you? Getting a little gas fueling up for the ride home. Price of gas here in Kissimmee, Florida, three dollars thirty-four cents a gallon at the non-Art Deco 7-Eleven. This is the one right by Osceola Heritage Park. One with the extra large 7-Eleven, piping hot caffeinated beverage. There it is, House of Mouse Expo. Or second and third, it's also tomorrow right here at the event center. I'm entering a smoke and vape free building. I'm sure coffee's allowed though, probably hopefully coffee's allowed. All right, I tried walking in and the checkpoint, they, they check for you know anything that you have on you. The security guy's like, you're not gonna like this, but you're gonna have to down this coffee before you come in. I said, oh man, that kind of stinks. I just bought a large coffee. So I said, what was the, what's the reasoning behind that? He goes, I don't know. So they brought the supervisor over. Supervisor said, oh, we have concessions in stand inside. So part of the policy is the concessions want to make money. I think it's just the, the Osceola Heritage Park. I don't think it's the event. So they want to make money off of their coffee instead of you bringing in a coffee. So I said, tell me how much the large coffee inside costs. I'll pay them to not drink that coffee and to finish this one. And they, they, they didn't think that was the best idea. So I'm going to have to walk around consume my coffee. This is a very large coffee, so I definitely don't want to dump it out. All right, Dreamfinder and Figment have arrived. Oh, Figment, you're very lively today. You ready for House <laughs> of Mouse? All right. Very talkative. Hey, from the Lady Dreamfinder on Facebook. The Lady Dreamfinder. I love it. You look great. All right, chugged it. Oh, I am hyped up now. I am. Ooh. I am super caffeinated. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm ready to rock. And I like the big hey, out. Here. By the way, watch <laughs> What's uh? What's your plug yourself there? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm Joker Telly. I'm actually from New York. Okay. Uh, coming down, big Disney fan. And, uh, you got the Five Nights over here. Yep. A little you bit got of the everything. Penguin. Nineties, eighties stuff that we yeah. loved. And, do one-off headshots and things. So what are these? Are these these are like postcards or? Yeah, I, they they were just regular like uh, regular oh, card stock paper, oh, wow. all hand drawn. Oh, they're all like customized. Yeah, all, yeah. Okay, all different all, characters. Wow, launch pad there. Nice. Is this your booth? Actually, yes. Uh, me and my friends over here. Yes. So, yeah, see, um, Justin did all of these prints. Zachary did the hand, uh, the hand painted yes. canvases. And bought that one had the entire cast signed off. Right? That's pretty neat. And your got character, that's your company name? Yep. Nice. I may, I came here what convention it was. I met you before, but you had a lot less than this. But now you've got a whole bunch of them now. You got Jafar over here. All right, this booth is called Skate in the Parks. Take a look at this. So let's go get that dyno. That is pretty dang awesome. What sizes do you have this in? We have a small for 2XL. Okay, 25. I might have to get one of those. That's pretty awesome. You also got the Magnus here, Country Bears, Leota. Cool. I know. It, it's a little you got that in a extra large. I'll take one in an extra large. I do large. have one in extra large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should get a large. I don't know. I am losing a little one. I'll go with the next hall. Next hall's good. All right. What's your Etsy? Is it camp? Yeah. What is it? Camp? Skate in the parks. Oh, skate in the parks. My name's skate, and I'm in the parks. Your name's Skate? Yes. And you're in the parks. I saw this camp coffee. What is the camp coffee? Camp coffee. No, this is just one of our set dressers. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Had to go to the uh, Muppet Vision 3D. Store. Oh, this is cool. Is this a sticker? Yes. Uh, that That's one's cute. our Epic Orange. And then we have Strollywood Studios right next to it. Wait, Strollywood? Oh, Strollywood. Epic Orange. Ep orange. Epcot Orange at a Strollywood Studio. That's cool. Got some Star Wars in here. It fits into the Disney threshold now. There's a lot of really good vendors, a lot of good artwork. Adam? 
Hey. All right, this is Dan. We met before. You remember what convention it was we met before, Dan? I'm drawing a blank on which convention. Uh, it was the one in Lakeland. Uh -huh. Still doing the artwork? Yep. What's your favorite thing to draw, Dan? If you had to pick a favorite character, what's your favorite one? Uh, gee, that's a hard one. Uh, what about Figment? Do you like Figment? Yeah, I love Figment. Yeah. Nice. And the hat box. Guys. And Hattie over here. We're, um, I'm guessing you a Disney podcast. Yes. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy. What's your name? Chuck. Chuck. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Also, since I was just over at Dan, make sure you check out Dan the Doodle. Really cool kid. Does a lot of really great artwork. All his stuff is just really, really awesome. So definitely give Dan a, Dan a follow. All right. Jack Sparrow. We have, uh, we have somebody who, who is a very fan of yours. It will be fun. Oh. Oh, we can get a photo. I just like to see Jack Sparrow here. You're out of, are you out of your element or in your element here, Jack? Oh, somewhere in between. I like that. Do pirates fist bump? They do whatever you want. That's true. I've heard stories. I've heard stories, Jack. <laughs> you have rum on you? We got the rum down here. Not very nice, very nice. Magical key. I like that. Very cool. You got a sword back there. Would you consider yourself a swashbuckler? Oh, you got the you got the ring. You've done it up. I love it. Well, it's good to see you. Wonderful world of animation booth over here. Check this out. You got these old school, these like salt and pepper shakers, possibly. I'm not sure what those are, but those are awesome. And also the very dapper J. Thaddeus Toad right here. I like the Toad, but I also like these. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. Mickey and Minnie though, but... Oh, got R2 and BBA. Are these your, are these your droids? Yes, they are. You want to be in the video? Sure. All right, the man behind the magic here. Either how are you? So you have the R2. How many droids do you have? So this this droid's mine. The colleague has the droid over here. I also have a KT unit at home. Thank you. Every time I see a figment, I'm drawn in like a tractor beam. I like that. So you do all this yourself? I did this stuff. That's Joseph's, but I did this. Okay, this is great. I love this. I love you added a little paintbrush here. That's cute. The That's so cool. Did you do any uh, things in California? I've done some California okay. stuff, yeah. I'm flying out there, I think, in whatever Midsummer Scream is, I'm doing that. Oh, yeah, Midsummer's good. D23, I do that, usually do that. Awesome. I like this. I like the oh, wall, the hat box walls. I think I've seen this before. I may have seen your booth at another convention yeah, this before. Brand new, the, the ticket over. Yeah. Um, yeah. Disney Magic Look at that. That is cool. So you got Walt there, and then you got Mickey there. You see? So, yeah. Walt's head. Same with the Frankenstein tiki cookies. I love, yeah, I love the little, uh, little tiki mugs. So my girlfriend wanted a planter. Ooh, that's a coffee. Is, but it fits a coffee cup perfectly. Yeah, I like these. Are these from something or is that no, just? My own, my own inspiration. I They're like kind that. of based on Maserati. Yeah. Or like his child. I call it the little vampire. The petite vampire. Yeah, this is cool too. So you got Frankenstein. You can pull out the brain out of there. Yeah, check it out. Well, it comes right out. Nice. Right. Hold your pencils, hold your cups, hold your plants. Oh, it's like Temple of Doom right there, like yes, Indiana. That's, that's basically where, yeah. <laughs> that's where you got the inspiration. Monkey brains, Frankenstein brains. <laughs> All right, I have purchased the pen, $20 pen right here. So I'm noticing that if you get the pen for $20, it's kind of a different version than the actual print is because Mickey's head is a little bit different on the pen. Is this your company name or am I really just walking into my real nightmare? Okay. Say it again. Custom creations. Custom creations. And you're going down the, the horror rabbit hole here at the Disney Con. Oh, there you are. There you are. Yeah, Chucky over here. Now I did see a couple of Mickey items. You got Steamboat. Is that the only ones? Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, look at this. That's like demonic Mickey right there. Oh, look at this one. I work harder than an ugly stripper. <laughs> oh, look at this right here. See, back in the day, I would have been, could have been punished with this right here. This was, this was not a cutting board back in when I was no, in youth. Was this not. was a paddle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It still is in some households, I'm that's, sure. That's a good point. Oh, this is Florida. Yeah, exactly. I love this place. I think I saw this booth at 
free play Florida. I really liked it. But they're over here as well. They have different layouts of some of the current and former attractions at WDW and Universal, Disneyland. Look at this, that's pretty cool. I said I was gonna buy that at Free Play and I didn't. I wonder how much that is. All right, I have ended up purchasing it. It was right here. Now, normally they do not sell the on-site ones. They usually like sell them on their website. They, they build them and then they ship them out. But they decided to go ahead and sell that one to me while I was here. But usually they just go on their website right there and then they'll, after about a few days, they'll, they'll mail it directly to you, any of these items. Some shirts here by WDWNT. I like this one. You think this is good? You should have seen Horizons. Whoa, this is freaking stitch overload down in here. Look at all these stitches. This entire booth is stitch. All stitch, all the time. Well, there's a couple other ones. You got Iago over here, and you got Minnie, and you got the Genie, but mostly stitch. What are these? These are ear holders? Yeah, right so these are ear holders. So really just the command strip? The ear holders are the ones that look like yeah. this. Okay. And the back holders are the ones that look like this. What's your booth name? What's your company name? Do you have Maddie it? Maddie on Main Street. What is it? Maddie on Main Street. Maddie on Main Street. Oh, there we go. I should have shown that. Thank you. New to Florida. Okay, so you were talking about these. Yeah, so we have a flower and garden. There's the World Showcase. There's Festival of the Arts. You take a Sharpie and mark them off. Yeah, yeah, and then you just take nail polish remover to, and then you can just do it again. I don't, and it's I don't own nail polish remover. We can get you some. Okay. We, get you some <laughs> we can get you some. Do you put something in that? Or it's just, that's just it? This is it. Okay. Well, look, it's like it's an orange because it's orange bird, and it's then this is just Epcot. World Passport, so it's Spaceship Earth. Yeah. We, I mean, one, this right? is detailed. It's a good idea. Thank you. Here's a festival of the holidays. Uh, oh, we added cool. the dreidel and the Christmas tree and the ginger mice with the ornaments. It's cute. Everyone's included on this one. I like this Miss Piggy uh, Leota over here. Oh yeah, thank she you. Made it. And, and then Vivo. But right. hold on, we also have a matching watch band because you have to you have to complete your bound. That's true. Yeah, I don't wear watches. I should start though, just because of these. Thank you. Yeah. you That's really bands? cute. I wear magic bands. Yes. Yeah. So you can get you got some bling. Some sliders. So that's what they call them, sliders? Yeah, sliders. I call them bling. I think I'm like bling the little... Bling is good too. So you got your yeah. villain snacks. Very cute. Yeah, so I, I went looking on the internet and no one had villain snacks, so I drew up some villain snacks. You're the first one. Thank you. And friend snacks. Nice. All right. Now uh, you can get all this online too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Can I give you my card and a pen? I like can the pen, though. I'll probably lose the card, but I'll keep the pen. Oh, I like the little little bow on there. Thank you. Well, that's my that's my whole shtick. I put the I put the bow in everything. Uh -huh. That's what makes me different. Instead of the Mickey ears in the castle, it's the bow. You're going for the bow look. I'm going for being different. I yeah. have found the most happening booth here. Look at this. I don't even have room in my own booth. This is like the party zone over here. <laughs> There's more people in this booth than anywhere. <laughs> I like this. Is this a, just a photo? Yep. That's awesome. All photos from mansion, pirates, TV room. So you're a big you're a big mansion guy. Do you have one of these replicas? No, I do not. I've never seen one. At have you guys most, ever seen one? At most I have a bell that has one of the bats as like the top. Yeah. But like yeah. I don't know why people have, don't make those. Light up pirate bottles. That's cool. It's pretty neat. Thirty dollars, pretty good deal. Does that just plug into a regular light socket? Oh, oh there you go. Oh, it's got the little battery switch on it. Yep. Those are cool. I get a Jack Sparrow parchment for free for purchasing the $30 pirate bo bottle. Yes. Shall we see what it says? Yes. Let's see which quote you have. The only rules that matter are these, what a man can do or what a man can't do. All right, got an extra battery, screwdriver too, for the batteries. You're the best. 
Do you guys have it online or are you guys just only just here? We just started here. Okay, you have to just find See them how it goes. at the next convention. Wait a minute, are you adding the who? I am Bert. This is Adam You're Bert. Blue, and I am Bert. I've been wanting to meet you forever. Oh my God. Ever? He's Adam the Woo. He's the Woo. I'm, I'm honored that Bert from Mary Poppins knows who I am. So tell me exactly what what are you guys okay. see, what are you guys doing exactly? I am a realtor. Okay. And I work exclusively with fans of Disney. I'm a fan of Disney. You know, I hear you live in celebration. So I have bad news, Bert. Oh no. I've already bought a house a couple months ago in celebration. Yes. I hadn't met you yet. I, so I, I went with another that. realtor. I heard about that and I was like a little bit oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know your name's not really Bert. What is your real name? Victor Naraka. Victor. But yeah, I don't you like sell... to predict the future. Oh, you sell houses in Golden Oak? I could sell a house in Golden Oak. You want to buy one? Buy a couple. <laughs> you can get two, side by side. I rent the other one for like 150 a month, I think. Okay. And you know. 150 grand a month. Sure. And I, <laughs> I, I, I bake you cookies. All right, Victor is one-upping my bag game here. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, boy, you really, you I'm getting, this is what they call. You've really made a name for yourself, I gotta tell you. This call Yeah, so nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Following Thank you for the while. bag and the stuff. Right, that is Sam Eagle. Wow. <laughs> All right, I've been gifted a couple shirts here. You guys didn't have to give me these. Yeah, well, you're our only friend who doesn't have it. <laughs> Dude, I'm the only what? Our only friend who doesn't have some of our shirts, <laughs> literally. I love the Sam Eagle one. I love the figment colored shirt here. Nice. So you, you said you were searching really hard to find an actual figment color? Yeah, it's literally his color. We actually met Figment today, put it next to him, and it's literally... You went to Epcot earlier before no, you came in here? Figment's here. Oh, the, with the Dreamfinder. Yeah. With Mrs. Dreamfinder. Yeah, so Dreamfinder was Figment. Yeah, yeah. We, we matched, color-coded, make sure. All right, give your give your company a shout-out so I don't oh, miss... Shop LBV. Shop like LBV, Lake yeah. Buena Vista. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. I will wear both of these. A salute to all countries, but mostly America. The bag of stuff is accumulating here, drastically. I think gave me this bag. Oh, that's uh, nice. A, a realtor over there. I thought he looked Victor like. Naraki. Oh, Victor yeah. Naraki. I thought he was dressed. Suit. I thought he was dressed like Bert from Mary Poppins, and then I realized I don't think it is supposed to be Bert. I think it's just his own style. No, so his thing is he I, actually goes in the parks. He only shows up in the parks in a full-on suit. I'm always fascinated by how many check of these. Everything is satisfactual. Zippy do a splash mountain patch. A lot of figment stuff. I don't know the ins and outs of how. So many places have a lot of this kind of stuff because it's obviously not Disney sanctioned stuff, but evidently there's like a massive gray area because every vendor has a lot of a lot of different items. Look at this. This is a Country Bears is Grizzly Hall. All the guys that turned me on turned me down. Ten dollars. This is a different boot. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that Hollywood Studios patch. That is freaking great. I love that. And there's a raccoon right there. Holding a turkey leg with a Mickey cap on. This is called Charmed and Cozy. This Charmed and Cozy booth. Here's some customized pins. So you got an Orange Bird pin there. These are three for 30 right here. I do like some Orange Birds. Now these are their own versions, obviously. And there's the Disney D right there. Sometimes I like the, the non sanctioned ones just as much as I like the official ones. I do, have, I do like the orange bird. Look at that spaceship Earth one's awesome. All right, I found three. Orange bird, orange bird wearing glasses, and a journey to imagination. They're three for 30, so I got three of them. Yeah, I remember seeing you at Megacon. You were walking around with this. Yeah. This now you got a booth. So much nicer on the arms. Very cool. I like how you have the Acme disappearing ink Oh, right thank you so much. <laughs> I love in the universe, my branding, advertising. Yeah, yeah. You got a site anybody can find you at? Is yeah, right you bet. Oh, right there. And of course, lounge flies are big in the community also. Not just Disney, but also the grim ones down here. There's a Hercules. You know, it's funny, I finished watching so for one reason or another, I've started watching Hercules over the years, over the last couple decades, 
multiple times, four or five times I get halfway through and I never finished it. Yes, last night on the treadmill, I finally finished Hercules. I don't know why it slipped past my radar. I've seen the first half of Hercules about five times and had never finished it until last night. Great movie. Super clever and funny. I love that era of animation too. Another Stitch. Stitch. There's an Elvis stamp on the Elvis sticker. I'm looking at this photo. What year do you think oh, that was? Oh, God. It, was it had old. to have been. You do you do late the photography 70s. at Disney? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see you there. I, I That's don't know. gotta be. Very old. Late 70s, yeah. early 80s. Yeah. I mean, look at Jiminy Cricket there. The yeah. era of Jiminy. Yeah. Look at Captain Hook. That's definitely Magic Kingdom, though, not Disneyland. Well, Florida's Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see Florida. She, she might remember. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it was our mom past, and we don't we don't really know the history of it. So. Oh, she always have it. Does she always she have it in the fridge? Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, let me see. All right, twenty dollars. I went ahead and bought this for twenty dollars. I've never seen that photo before. And I'm kind of curious what's behind it here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And you can just throw it in here too. Thank you. Thank you. JV Inks. I've seen more stitches today than I've seen in a long time. There's stitches everywhere here. But this is cool. You like you got your flashlight, you like the light up here. Darth Maul's eyes there, that's pretty cool. So all of these, even though the Maleficent does it. Nice. Pretty cool. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. That's cool. Full Park Preservation Society. That's pretty cool. You created that? Yeah. That's pretty neat. How much is that? Uh, 25 for the larger part. Man, that's cool. I'll get. The, I'll take that one. I love Muppet Vision. Okay. Start a pile for it. <laughs> All right. The name of this place is Theme Park Preservation you Society, and got a handful of things over here, including some old photos. <laughs> All right. Next booth over is Skipper Hoss. Has some very kind of unique stuff too. A lot of horror themed items as well. I like the Evil Dead. You got the Evil Dead. Army of Darkness in here. I think I saw it. We got Halloween 3, Shop Smart, Shop S Smart. You said it comes in two versions? Yeah, right behind it. The uh, bloodied version. Oh. So, so it's just one of those, like, <laughs> some people want the little blood on yeah, it. Yeah, it's, like, it's almost like colored vinyl. Like yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the colored vinyl. Your, your variant version. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, little postcard versions also. Whoa! You have the drive-in from Back to the Future 3. How many, How many people picked up on that one? It's like easily my favorite of the three films. You recognize my Mickey shirt? Oh, yeah! The Dave McFly shirt. <laughs> That's super cool. So these are five? Yeah, all of the postcards are five. I'm gonna get one of those. That's cool. Them living instead of they live. Nice. The, um, the larger version of that one. No imagination needed. It's hard to see on the postcard, but if you look really close in the background, like in the green. In the green? Mm, oh, you got the obey in there. Yeah, the whole poster. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. This one, a lot of fun for me, so. I like how you have, like, oh, this has got to be The Shining if it says Overlook. I mean, it might be. Yeah, of course. Lost Vamps, of course, Lost Boys. Very cool. Yeah, this Rocketeer is really great, too. Sketch prints and press paper. The rocket. Oh, Audrey 2 there from Little Shop. Very cool. 
think I might get the uh, might get the rocket. Oh, so different kinds of paint. I actually like that one better. Yeah. 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 They all have imperfections. Yeah. yeah, and yeah I like that. Different stuff like that. So. Okay. Yeah. So I get that one. Love it. Skipper Haas. All right, over at another booth called Main Street Treat right here. So they have different candles. This is a Dole Whip candle. Tropical Whip, yeah. Tropical Whip, okay. <laughs> Trop, tropical Whip candle. What about these over here? Which, which flavor are these, smell-wise? Beignet all day? And the Crepe Reef. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see, what else? What else we got here? Uh, vanilla Cone. This is delicious. Vanilla Cone. Yeah. Delicious. Right. Love that one. You don't eat these. You smell them. You smell them. <laughs> right um, let's see. You don't eat these treats. Vanilla smell Cone's them. probably my favorite. Okay. This one. Caramel um, Kitchen or Caramel Kitchen. Caramel yeah, Caramel. Inspired um, from uh, Caramel Kitchen. Yep, yep. Epcot. At Epcot, World Showcase Germany. Yeah. And then, of course, Magic Kingdom right there. Confectionery. Do you have a candle that smells like room burning? Not yet. Yeah. I'm stopping over at Ranger Rob's Artifacts. Hello you... there, Ranger Rob's. Welcome to the Outpost. Come on in. All right. It's good to be here. Absolutely what glad do, to see you. What do I have to look forward to in here? Oh, all sorts of exploring, adventuring items, anything you could imagine. Well, almost anything. Oh, right here, these are actually paraffin wax stamps from the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Oh. They were used to seal up letters much like this by some of the club members, like the oh, Familia Perkins here. The Adventurers Club. Uh, yes, yes. I've heard sir. stories. I've heard the lore. Oh, I've heard stories too, especially the ones when I was there. Yes. Uh, good thing the good, good thing, thing good thing the internet didn't exist oh, back then. Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> so many lampshades on top of people's heads. <laughs> now this right here might be of interest. It's a travel brochure for a uh, site. Archaeological site, the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. And now the tours are run by a gentleman named Sala Elka here, but uh, these are actually something that I'm helping him promote with. It is oh. a decoder pin. I know of that. So when you go through the site, you can look at the what they call meroglyphs on the wall and try to decode what it is into Roman letters, into a English alphabet. Uh, Professor Jones came up with this, and somehow it works. I was there and tried it. I gave up after one translation because it told me to drink my Ovaltine. Brand new. Oops. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're having an earthquake. What? We're having oh, an earthquake. We had a stampede come through <laughs> earlier. Now, uh, Dr. Jones says they are potentially still poisonous, uh, but that was like two millennia ago. I say they're food safe, and I use them as Mai Tai drinksters. Oh, I'm gonna get my, this shrunken, is this shrunken Ned? It is. Oh, I'm going to have to get one of these shrunken Neds. You have to be very careful with Ooh. the doctor's orders on these. You see, yes. if you read this, it says, Adhere this charm two to four hours when... Eating people is wrong book is only four dollars? Well, yes, because these, I will admit, are slight misprints that Sam was able to provide me. Okay. He wasn't happy with how they came out. Okay. I did question why he didn't elaborate oh. on the topic, and he said he <laughs> couldn't think of a thing to write about. <laughs> like, a like a whistle. Yes, it is. It's from the Hotel Hightower baggage claim, and bellboys used to use these to summon horseless carriages for the customers at the hotel. A turtle. Building. It is a turtle shell guitar, although I believe it was handcrafted by a a sailor who had claimed that he was captive aboard a submersible boat. The Tiki Room? The Tiki Enchanted, or the Sunshine Pavilion. This was in 1946, and it was uh, discovered in 1946 by Crest, U.S. Air Force pilots, in an area known as the Enchanted Valley of Polynesia. Locals believe the birds sing words and the flowers croon. Yeah. It is a letter opener, and it works very well. As a matter of fact, I believe... Oh, there it is. You have mail. Oh, I've got mail. You've got mail. Oh, yeah. And I, guess I, I should get the letter opener yeah, then, too. Well, I have a community one here if you would like to use it to open uh, up here. Your I'm going to end up buying one of these letter openers, too. But let's see what we got in here. Your disappearance and absence from the club has been of great concern. Primarily, this will lead to an effort to avoid paying your membership dues. 
I guess I gotta guess I gotta pay my membership dues right here. Feel free to remit your dues upon your timely return. All right, I think I'm I've got some good supplies here. I also got a jungle navigation help, company. Uh, Another earthquake. Oh, Another earthquake. Him, also uh, purchased this here. Club, jungle like, navigation company. This is so cool. This bottle holder mentioned. right here. Oh, yeah, it just kind of mounted up on the side of my wall or so cabinet great. somewhere. It's got the jungle um, navigation. But yeah, that's one of those ones. Okay. Company yes, emblem on the side. Oh, I am all out of bags. But I, I do have a little bit of something here to offer to put oh. a few of the items in. Uh, I'm sorry the box isn't bigger, but I had a light lunch. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm going to put that down as probably one of the best booths I've ever been in at a convention. That looks awesome. Ranger Rob and his artifacts. Just really, really just in, completely incredible. I think I've definitely spent my quota for amount of money. Not that I had a quota, but I think I've definitely spent enough today. There's the panel. Oh, the panel's over here. In the Kissimmee room. All right, I want to introduce Leslie Love. Bumped into her today. Finally met you for the first time. Finally! Do you know that I, you know how I found you? Was when I wanted to do Dirty Dancing. I... No, 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 I'm, I'm, no, no, wait, I'm wrong. Stranger Things. That's they're, they're, hard, they're easy to confuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that well, I'm Scott on tape and I did Dirty Dancing I'm recently. Just, we got stuck in the mud. Like, seeing you in person is making me a little nervous. I'm, I'm, I don't know why, but it is. I just, it's I probably know. Stranger Things, yeah, from it maybe Sep 2017. 2016. Yeah. That was my very first video. Wow, it's and been it that long. Wars that I, I found online. You helped me out so much with that video. I had no idea what I was doing. And you're, now you're full on filming locations now. Yeah. What you want to give a shout out to your channel? Yeah, it's, so it's Leslie Love on YouTube, and then I have an Instagram as Leslie Love Film Locations. Nice. Well, a couple other great cosplays here The Bride and Indy. Very nice. Oh, you even have the hatchet there. Wow. Oh, wow. You both got weapons. I didn't even realize that. No. Um, try Dr. Pepper's head. Yeah, I can tell we have Mickey Mouse himself, Brett Iwin. Like, like sometimes it's not like they're sucking, but it's like it's like they're exploring like how to how do you make this line work and how do you make a line like that work? Because I remember because it was for a feature film, yeah. Kevin, our director, was like, how do you say it? And we tried it, and you weren't you weren't doing bad, you were just exploring, but he must have recorded that line for like a good 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and over and over. The most I've heard of was with Wayne Allwine as Mickey yeah. at uh, in uh, Fantasmic. Yeah, Fantasmic. Yes. Where yeah. he said, uh, you know, some imagination, huh? And I think Wayne said that he did that like 86 yeah. times. Yeah. And he said they took tape number two. Yeah. And that was back in the day when it was all recorded on tape. Yeah. And so they had done these 80 something takes. And the, the Rick was helping, I think, in that session. He goes, You know, I think you got it back there on like take two. So that guy, whoa, 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 who
probably a while. Yeah. Some imagination, huh? <laughs> That's it. We're working on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse right now, the reboot of it. And something as simple as this calls for a mouse control. Everybody saying, oh, toodles. And then they all echo, right? So I come into the session and they've all recorded. And so I do it and they're like, oh, actually, no, you know, we need to listen to how Bill did that. And he's like, oh, toodles. <laughs> well, I'm the one who's supposed to leave this. Why am I having to do what Goofy did now? Hey, give him come back. And, um, uh, they they wreck me in a lot with Tress's work as Daisy when I first started. So it was like she was. Wait, you're doing Daisy too? No. Uh, you were, wait, oh, I thought. No, no, no. Like like they like when I was recording my lines. If I'm talking to oh, Daisy, yeah, they Tress had already Daisy. recorded. Wow. Daisy. Me too. So yeah, I they, that. Yeah, <laughs> on the other hand, I'm a one note wonder. I do make you, and that's it. Um, <laughs> I did recently audition for. Well, I don't know if I can say that. Shoot. Um, you signed an NDA? No. <laughs> so I think I mean I, I think everyone knows that the country bear jamboree is getting a refresh, and so it did audition to be uh, Melvin and uh, Marvin, the two of the you know, taxidermy heads. So I was, I just thought that'd be such a fun little Easter egg. Yeah, uh, it was an NDA for that, so I don't tell anyone. Right <laughs> there was no NDA. You never know. Look at that. It's it's I didn't say whether or not I got it. I didn't. Okay. I didn't spoil it. I didn't get it. They usually do like a scratch track and then like get, will it fit for the project or it, it goes through so many hoops. But I actually did the scratch for Trixie and Teddy Barra. So hopefully it cuts passes muster and it can stay in the right because I really want it. But, um, just a couple lines because but the singers are all these beautiful Tennessee singers because I even checked like do you what do you think about that coming down the pipe? And like, <laughs> but, uh, tell them about Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty and the Beast is probably the most, you know, obscure thing I've done. When Gaston is is uh, singing about decorating with antlers in the uh, in the bar and everything, he throws three eggs up in the air and they go. Eggs on my resume. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That was the announcer. Troops is a, you know, yeah, I did the announcer. All suspects are we guilty. My, we recorded that in my studio at my house, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. I like a whopper with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> they look out and they get laughing. That's how it started. You guys use your, use your talents for nefarious reasons? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's odd to do these characters because I don't say I am Goofy. I, I say, you know, I, I get to hang around with him a lot. I'm not famous Goofy is. And it's interesting the way that when you do that familiar a voice to someone, that takes them somewhere. It takes them to, you know, a Goofy movie or whatever. And I'm sure he, the, probably the most you know, popular thing I've ever done is a Goofy movie. And even that was 28 years ago. Can you believe that? And it's still very popular. Uh, yes. And it's still that popular. That it, without every con that I've ever done, Comic Con, people will say, you know, I couldn't find my dad, or, you know, that became our song and our movie, and we, yet we bonded over it. And that's really the hard one. And all the kids who watched it, they're now in charge of creating these dreams. Yeah. In the company. If you go to Toontown out in Disneyland, they revamped it. And you go inside Goofy's house, there's photos everywhere in his house of him with baby Max meeting Mickey and Minnie. Max with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, like any chipmunk wood scouts. Um, but often, you know, this is really cheesy, but um, in those holiday specials we were doing, I had just lost my dog, which was like my love of my life at that point. And so those interactions between Mickey and Pluto were always great. And then in that short, especially, you know, Pluto just wants to play with Mickey, and Mickey's distracted decorating for ornaments. And it really was tying into a moment I had in life where I felt very distracted at the end of my dog's life. I wasn't giving her the attention I wanted to. And, and so seeing Mickey and Pluto kind of be able to repair that, and in the end, Mickey makes a point to spending time with Pluto. And he's like, I've got one more surprise for you, Pluto. Fetch! Oh, and, uh, <laughs> I truly cannot. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go to a power line concert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Well, you want money, do you, kid? <laughs> As usual, <laughs> never I'll get to make it. Oh, 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 o
Got the let's go get that dino shirt. And then a few shirts here as well, including Imagination and Sam Eagle. Very nice. Oh yeah, these are really great too. These are the same booth that I got the Muppet Vision 3D. Take a look at this. This old photo of Pluto there. I forgot about the Rocketeer thing that I got. This castle photo from back in the day. This MGM Studios photo. And check this out. The Muppets is over there where the Mermaid Show is now. And he was pointing this out, this photo of Mickey back in the day. You look at this lady over here who was smoking a cigarette. It's just such a great old-timey photo. I mean, not even super old, but I guess probably early 70s, late 70s as well. Well, that's going to do it for today, but before that, I'm going to open the back of this and see what that is. All right, it took a little work to get it out of the frame around the back of it, but this is the photo. And also the same person that made the Muppet Vision 3D art said that noticeable the 10th anniversary, 10th centennial of the park. So it would probably have been 81 flip around the back. And that is what you see across the back. Walt Disney photo prints. I think I've ever seen that stamp on the back. Frame this picture, send $8 to Impact Florida, copyright 1985. But that photo obviously is from 81. All right, that's it. Vlog is over.